In this video, I explore the effects of painting my roof white with hydrated lime. This is a temperature recording of areas before applying the lime to the roof. The ceiling is at 83 degrees. Floor is 78. Right around here, 77. So thermostat's reading correctly. 86 all the way to 87. The vent's hot. Here's the attic area. As far as readings, the actual roof decking is 140 degrees. At the very peak, it gets up to about 142. And let me just do a rafter right here to get a small ambient temperature. It's 130, so a little bit lower. The side of the house over there is at 128, so much cooler. And right around that vent is a little cooler as well. The sun's been hitting this side all day. And this is definitely hotter than the other side. And you can see as I go from the roof directly to a rafter, there's a big temperature difference. So this is a good recording of the attic before. So I'm gonna update after applying the lime paint. I'm probably gonna do a center strip in this area in between these two turbines and uh, then I'll be able to get a good reading just to see any difference. And a little bit more info, so this is at ground level. So it's 71. Here's the garage, also 71. You can see the doors near 80 as well. Outside temperature is still 88 degrees. This is subterranean, so the ground level is right about the bottom of that window right there. So you can see big difference, uh, big difference the lower you go underground. Usually stays right around 69 over there in that corner. And the ground level up here is uh, about the top of that ceiling up there. So you can see you go down, the temperature should just be dropping until you get to 69. So this is the next day I've applied the coating to the roof in a small section. This temperature hasn't really changed. It's basically the exact same, around 70 degrees down here. I didn't expect any changes. But as we go upstairs, we'll see if there's any changes. Still 76, 78. This window tent on this door made a massive difference. This door used to get well over 100 on this surface. 79. I'll have to look back, but I think this is roughly the same. 80. Yeah, this is definitely hotter. This is at 77. Check the vent, see if it's still hot. Yeah, it's still at 100 degrees. Okay, so we're up in the attic. This is roughly where I put the paint. So there's a vent over there, and here's a vent over here. I only put it on this slope of the roof right here. So basically right in this area, so. I'm guessing there's gonna be a huge transition soon, right there. So you could definitely tell that it's making the difference. You see, you see right here, there's the transition. So 130, you move over. 138, one. where's the transition? Okay, so yeah, the transition's right about here. So we go from right here in this section, and then we come over here, and all of a sudden it drops about 10 to 15 degrees. So 135 to 117. So uh, almost 20 degrees actually. We'll check on the other side where there's definitely nothing and 142 so the paint is definitely making a difference 145 that's crazy okay so i've seen this i'm definitely gonna paint this entire roof so i'm gonna update again once i've painted the entire roof another interesting thing to note is that even with that little strip i did it looks like it already dropped the temperature of the interior of the house the maximum that it gets yesterday the outside temperature was still about 92 same as today but it got up to 89 uh, in the evening. So there seems to be a big difference. It could just be because the strip is directly above this. Okay, so this is an update after applying paint to one half of the roof on this side and a tiny bit on this side, probably about a fifth of the roof and then I ran out of paint. So here's an update. So 79 degrees, I don't think this is any different. Let's see if this vent is still 100 degrees and very big difference here. This is peaking about 95 and it was about I think like 102 or something last time. All right here I am in the attic. So I've applied it to this side of the roof and not that side. Turn the flashlight on. Okay so here we go. So 103. <laughs> oh man 
They remember this was 140 last time. Here's the insulation, 103. The roof itself is actually at lower temperature than the ambient temperature of the attic, just because I haven't applied the coating to this side of the roof right here. I applied it to the corner over there, and you can see 104. Let's see what this is right here. Oh, yeah, you can see the difference. So 120 degrees right here. Remember, this is 140 last time. 117. So it looks like it's peaking around 123. And this side, which is coated, straight up 100 degrees. So massive difference. And I can feel the difference, of course. The air itself is much cooler. You can see up near that vent, around 100. So... This is a definite success painting it white. Once the sun sets today and all the heat dissipates, it'll be the first cycle of starting a day with no additional UV input. And then I'm gonna see if uh, tomorrow, if the temperature peaks at a much lower temperature during the day. I wanna go downstairs now and double check the thermostat. I think it's uh, still at 80 degrees or so in the house. And it was peaking around 88, 89 previously when the ambient temperature outside was peaking around 92, 93. And that's still the same today. So there's already a big difference I can tell on the inside of the house. I'll update again tomorrow with some more temperature readings in the morning. All right, so this is the morning after applying the coating to about 60% of the roof. I have reached a low of about 74 degrees all around the house. I've had the fans running all morning, taking it in the outside temperature, which is about 68 degrees, and it's cooled it down to this. It won't get any lower no matter how much longer I run it. One thing I did change that's another variable is I realized that a box fan, a normal 20 inch box fan, fits perfectly in this little attic access. And I've been running this all night. And this has made a drastic difference in the temperatures. It's pulling all the hotter, less dense air from the ceiling and exhausting it directly out. And it's also pushing out the, uh, the hot attic air as well, directly up to the top of the roof vents. Okay, so this is the last update for now until I finish painting the roof. For some reason, still no difference on the ceiling. Definitely a difference on the floor, I think. This is at peak temperature. It's about five o'clock. All the other videos have been at one o'clock, but uh, it's only gotten hotter since then after one. So this is a good time to do it. It's peaked at 81 before painting the roof. This would peak at 88 to 89. And of course the attic temperature has not changed since I did my update yesterday. So I'm not gonna climb up in there, but putting that fan up there definitely affected it in addition to the paint. So I'm gonna end the video here and update after painting the rest of the roof. I have roughly 40% left to paint, as well as I'm gonna paint the concrete patio at the front and the rear of the house. That seems to be conducting a lot of heat into the house just because it's connected directly to the house. The front patio is directly up against the foundation wall, so I know it's conducting heat inside, and the rear is right up against the house. So I'll update after whitewashing that as well as the roof.